Webster, the Honorable Lance Webster, our program chairman, is now conducting the session. Please welcome Lance. Thank you, Thank you. Got it. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for coming out on a Saturday morning. I hope there's enough food here for you and coffee and so forth. Uh, did everyone pick up one of each of the documents over there on the side table? Yes. Okay. And did everyone get one of these? Yes. Okay. If you did. Yeah. I'm going to start with just a quick word about what this is. This is my newest invention. I stole the idea from the Department of Transportation. I do work with the Southern California Earthquake Center, and we share earthquake information with other organizations. And what they printed is a little two-fold, uh, a one-fold, uh, four sides. This is two-fold, two sides, uh, which tells you how to behave if you're on public transportation and there's an earthquake or another disaster. And then inside, there's a place for you to put your name and all the contacts that you would want people to reach if you're rendered unconscious or dead. And, and they'll know who to, the first responders will know who to contact. I think that's a great idea, but I stole the concept of a wallet card so that each one of you will be able, as you are standing uh, in the front of your, especially presidents or vice presidents of education or whoever is starting off a meeting, Remember that we like to start every meeting, and the Sergeant Arms can do this, or the President, or the Vice President of Education, those are good steps, but everybody should be able to, is to state what the, to state what the uh, mission of Toastmasters is. So you'll see on one of the sheets here, Toastmasters mission, district mission, and club mission. You don't have to read all three of them, but certainly it's a good idea to read the club mission. So I'm going to read it to you just so that it, this is kind of small, so that those of you whose eyesight is like mine will have a better understanding of what it says. It says, we provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership, you notice that's in big letters, skills resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. Okay? So if you start every meeting that way, it reminds your members of something very important, the reasons why they joined the club. And it reminds you, and it lets your guests know the value of the organization that they're sitting there uh, guesting at, okay, participating in. So that's one page. Another page is the path to distinguished Toastmaster. Now we've had a big pull up here banner made for use in places like today and, and in conferences and other places. Uh, so this is Distinguished Toastmaster and the path to get there. Reminder of that. So if you need to remind people in your club and you can't remember all of the steps to Distinguished Toastmaster, or you can't remember all of the points you need to earn for Distinguished Club, lo and behold, those two are right here in your wallet. You can just put them out and say, now, here, we, you know what, I've already checked off that we have two CCs, but we need two more. And I've already checked off that we have one leadership award, but we need another one. And we have four new members, but we need four more. So you can, you know, if you use the little check marks, you can use this as a way to keep tabs on how your club is doing. Now, it's my intention that every officer of every club have one of these. Please take at least one extra but I really want people to get them by coming to the officer's training. So there's enough there for each of you to have two of these, but don't take a handful because they're not laminated, and you'll want people to get the laminated ones. I've ordered 2,500 of them. Uh, the, the page that looks like this, that's a list of all the important events in our district. It does not have dates because I want this to be what we call evergreen, usable year after year. But these events always happen in these months. So for example, June, uh, August, uh, June through August, trainings, officer, district, contest, and club visits. August, club contests. September, area contests and an awards luncheon, and so forth. So month by month, you can remind yourself of what's coming up at Toastmasters. And then if you go to our website, toastmasters.org, which Glenn here uh, is overall in overall charge of, you'll be able to find out everything you need to know. How many of you, be honest about this, how many of you regularly check in the district52.org website? 
and how many do not. I can't. Okay. <laughs> Let me advise that you do so because this year with, with Glenn's uh, leadership and Elizabeth Gilbert's superb, superb uh, attention to the website, it, it is updated literally weekly and sometimes daily with new stuff. So whenever something happens in the district, you'll see it there within 24 or 48 hours. And there are lists of everything you need to know there. So please, as, as officers, make sure all the officers in your club know to go to the website and use it. Glenn, by the way, is the public relations manager for District 52. Stand up so they can see you. Let's give them a round of applause. How many of you are committed that your club have nine or ten points on the DCP program? and be President's Distinguished. How many of you don't know what I'm talking about? It's perfectly okay. Good. So we're going to spend a minute or two talking about the DCP. And that's what we're going to do now. The Distinguished Club Program essentially is a way for you, the club officers, to make sure that you are performing for your club what your members joined for that they are getting experience and practice in public speaking and communication, and that they are, in some way or other, getting some leadership training. Whether they're an officer or not, leadership training. So the people who came in just now, uh, Brown's getting you a few more seats, but we have more seats up there, more seats up here in the front. Don't be afraid to sit in the front. I don't call on people in the front. I only call on people in the back. So one of your sheets is a Distinguished Club Program sheet. I'm not going to go into it in detail because we did that at the last officer's training. But those of you who are not familiar with the Distinguished Club Program, please review this. On the back, there is a way for you to keep tabs on how you are doing. So not just on the little card that I gave you, but also here, you can, you can decide with your club members who is going to get there are competent communicators. Who's going to get various advanced communicators? Who's going to get competent leader? Who's going to get advanced competent leader? And if you fill in, if you fill in all of those, the first six, you're going to be a distinguished club. And the rest comes pretty automatically. So review this. It, you, you need to get eight new members during the course of the year. That's two points. Every club should, should be able to get eight new members. Now let me say why it's eight new members, OK? An average club has 20 or 21 members, or should have. We know that historically that most clubs tend to lose about a third of their membership in the course of a year. So that would be seven members lost. If you get eight members in in the course of a year when you lose seven, you're going to grow by one. That's why that number was, you know, instead of saying get four new members a year or get ten new members a year, get eight and you're going to be, you're going to be a healthy, strong club. Okay, very important. Uh, some of you, now there is, a, there is a website you can go to, and I put, it, I put it down here at the bottom of page two. It's a long thing, and I couldn't put a link on this sheet of paper, but you can type this in. And it's, um, it gives you a ranking of all the clubs in our district, and how many points they've earned toward being presidents distinguished. So I belong to six clubs, and I see some of them are doing pretty well, and some of them are not doing so well. But I know that they have potential, because when we see that we have only two points, then we work very hard in the areas where we need points to get more points. So it's not a matter of getting points. It's a matter of when you get the points, you're doing what a club is supposed to do. And it's a way for you club officers to make sure that you're doing what you want to do. Glenn. Just really quick, if you see that, that URL is a little long, uh, if you go to district52.org, on the left-hand side, you see a grid, which Kevin is part of because they just finally got their eight points just recently, right? And all you have to do is click on that grid, and it'll actually show how many points you are, how far you are away from being distinguished, and you can just find all the information to come there. Very quick. That grid is not done by Toastmasters. It's done by a private person, but it's updated from Toastmasters website daily. It's sim simultaneous. As soon as you actually put an education in, it will show up almost immediately. 
Yeah. And it's prettier and more exciting to use than the Toastmasters. And a lot easier. If you <laughs> click on your club on that grid, it will take you to the Toastmasters dashboard, your club there. So you can go both ways. Okay, that's that's what I want you to know about Good say. <laughs> now, while we are on distinguished club programs, let me ask you if you have any questions or concerns or considerations that you would like answered or discussed or to share with your colleagues about the distinguished club program.